Welcome everyone, quick video on how to downgrade uh, iOS 12.5.3 down to iOS 12.5.2 without losing data. So let me show you, uh, this iPhone 6 right here is on iOS 12.5.3 and if your iPhone 6, 5S, iPod Touch 6th generation, iPad Air 1, iPad Mini 2 or Mini 3 is running iOS 12.5.3, by the end of this quick video you should be able to downgrade it to 12.5.2. So first things first, you will need a Windows or Mac computer. If you do not have one of these, unfortunately there is no possible way to downgrade your phone back to iOS 12.5.2. It's just not possible unfortunately. Um, that's just how it goes, I guess. But um, that's okay. Uh, if you do have the computer, then let's proceed. So you want to head over to the link, which will be in the description down below. If I forget to add it or there's a link shortener and you can't navigate it, it's just ipsw.me. And you just want to select iPhone or if you have an iPad, iPad, same with iPod. And we just want to choose the uh, model we have. So let's find iPhone 6. Where is it? There we go, iPhone 6. Now, in the case of the iPhone 5S, you can see there's a GSM in the global mo uh, model. If you're from the US, choose GSM. If you're from any other country, choose global. If you have any issues trying to downgrade um, and they're not uh, in the uh, errors which will uh, be mentioned in the video, then just choose the other firmware file. But because the iPhone 6 just has one firmware, so we'll just tap on this one. And you can see signed IPSWs iOS 12.5.2 and it's signed. Now if iOS 12.5.2 is in the unsigned IPSWs area, you are unable to downgrade to iOS 12.5.2. You might be like, hold up, why not You know, just download this file while it's signed, then uh, downgrade when it's unsigned? Well, how this works is this file will never change, this firmware file never changes. However, when you're downgrading, Apple does a server check, very important, a server check to make sure uh, can we allow iOS 12.5.2 to be downgraded. This means that even if you download this firmware file right now, when Apple servers block you from downgrading, you will be unable to downgrade to iOS 12.5.2. Right, this means that there is no workaround for this. It's just an Apple server block. There's nothing you can do. It's like um, trying to get Twitch, uh, what's it called? Twitch Prime for free. They block you, right? Because you have to pay. Uh, in this situation, they block you from downgrading because they don't want you to downgrade, right? So uh, if it's in the signed area, then we can proceed. So we'll just click on this. And we just click on the blue download. Now, I've, I don't want to download this. I don't want to even downgrade. But I'm going to show you the steps that you need to take. So click on that download. Wait for the process to, to uh, complete. Once it's completed, we're just going to go into the Finder app and uh, we just want to find our iPhone. So in order to find your iPhone here, you will need to plug it into the computer. So you can see my iPhone 6 is plugged in. If there's any trust pop-ups you see here, make sure you tap on trust. Now, if you're on Windows, you would want to instead open up iTunes, then find the iPhone. Or uh, Mac OS, it's just the Finder, then the iPhone. Now, what we're going to do is we just want to downgrade. So. Uh, you see check for update uh, on mac we hold down option and then the left click and then on our windows we hold down shift and left click so i'm going to do option and left click now and instead of you know seeing uh the latest software update we can choose the firmware file we downloaded earlier so you just want to scroll down and you just want to find uh, the iOS 12.5.2 firmware file. So you can see I already installed it apparently uh, this firmware file right here and all you do is you click on open and okay, apparently uh, that isn't the right firmware, but um, if you actually uh, did download the firmware file, because apparently I just didn't. In fact, let me check one more time, because I think that was an iPhone 5S firmware file. In theory, I should have one for the iPhone 6. Yeah, so you can see 12.5.2, open, and you can see this is the pop-up you want to see. Uh, your Mac will update uh, your iPhone to iOS 12.5.2 and verify the update of Apple, right? So you can see this is the right firmware file. All you do is click on update, I wait for the process to complete. Now, while it does say update, um, they don't expect you to downgrade. Apple doesn't expect you to downgrade. However, they do let you do it um, as long as you can see on this page, it does say the firmware is signed. If it doesn't say it's signed, unfortunately, you will not be able to uh, downgrade. So really, that's all there is to it. Make sure you leave your iPhone in until the full process is completed. And let me get hopefully this video up to you. Have. Make sure to smash like, subscribe if you're brand new. See you guys later. Bye-bye.